Yachts for Sale and Charter YouTube channel here, opening a window into the world of yacht brokerage. And let me tell you that as we're filming this particular video, I am having the most frustrating couple of days. Before I tell you about the challenges that I'm facing though, let me make it clear, I do understand that I'm extremely lucky to be working in this incredible industry. I also do understand that there are people watching YouTube and probably watching this very video who face far more serious challenges and problems that put mine into perspective because the challenge that I'm facing <laughs> is I just can't get to the Bahamas with all of these travel restrictions going on. Now I don't want to go to the Bahamas for a vacation. I'm not going there to network with clients on their yachts or to research local cuisine. I want to go there because Northrop and Johnson have a considerable fleet of yachts, both for sale and for charter in the Bahamas. And it's my responsibility to give them the best video marketing material that we possibly can. Actually, this YouTube channel has become a significant marketing tool for us. And we've noticed that when I do a walkthrough video of a yacht, it really does make quite a difference. However, one of the reasons that I became part of a larger brokerage company rather than working on my own is because it makes me part of a much larger team. And in the case of the yachts in the Bahamas right now, that has been a great asset. The 125 foot Heeson yacht Sea Axis is a wonderful example of this. Actually, the listing is shared by three yacht brokers at Northrop & Johnson, Kevin Merrigan, Grant Henderson, and Kristen Klein. I asked our US-based videographer Maxime Forjan to fly over to Nassau to film the yacht and Kristen joined him there. From a broker's standpoint, it's so important to regularly visit the vessel, keep a strong relationship with the captain and the crew, and to be fully informed of the yacht's itinerary and ongoing maintenance schedule. Now, hopefully I will be able to visit her in person and give you a thorough walkthrough of the yacht. But for now, let me tell you that she's for sale with an asking price of $5.9 million at the time of recording this video. And she is also a highly successful charter yacht with revenue of $600,000 already booked for this year and potential to book more. She has a beautiful, spacious sun deck an outdoor cinema, and the current owner made a significant investment in refitting her. I really can't wait to get on board and see her myself. She has a gorgeous on-deck master stateroom, four more staterooms below deck, a spacious lounge on the main deck, and a sky lounge on the upper deck. Really a yacht worth inspecting, especially if you're interested in buying a yacht that you can use yourself and significantly reduce the running costs with the charter revenue. Now, if you're a regular viewer of this channel, you'll know that I've recently been appointed as the head of video production for Northrop & Johnson. So, apart from publishing videos on this channel, which has become a really powerful marketing tool in the yachting industry, I also want to produce videos for the Northrop & Johnson YouTube channel. And the challenge there is to do something a little bit different from everybody else. Just to explain that challenge to you, there are a few video production companies that specialize in yacht videos, and they all produce something that looks, in my opinion, very similar. So whichever one of our competitors asks one of those companies to produce a video for them, the result is all the same. You can't really distinguish between one brokerage and another by the video that you watched. So we got ourselves an in-house video production team with the intention of producing something that's really distinguishable and very different from what everybody else is doing. The reason I'm telling you this story is because the C-axis video that we produced was the first that our in-house team did under that remit. I'm gonna show it to you now, and I'm really interested in your feedback. I'm not fishing for compliments. What I do want to know is if it's something that's very different from everything else that you've seen, or whether you found it engaging.
I've not given up on those plans to get to the Bahamas. Sometimes you just need to be able to know which country to travel through, which visa application to make, and you can get there. And I'm pretty determined to make sure that that happens. This weekend though, I'll be flying to Mallorca. Monaco to Mallorca is a much easier voyage to make, let me tell you. And when I'm there, we'll be filming a beautiful San Lorenzo yacht called Saspa, at least one swan sailing yacht. And I'll be returning to that large charter yacht, Roma. I made a video of that yacht last year that was very popular. They've made a few changes to their interiors. We want to at least photograph and probably video some of the cabins so that we've got good marketing materials showing the upgraded cabin arrangements. If you've not seen that video of Roma, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video because it's really worth your time watching. You may be aware that I'm far more experienced in talking about motor yachts than I am in sailing yachts. Actually, the first sailing yacht video that I did was of a yacht called Child of Lear. There should be a, a link to that video on screen somewhere now. And I talk a lot in that video about how inexperienced I am and how I was learning really in the field as I was filming the video. So before I film the next sailing yachts, I want to do some research about swan sailing yachts. And actually next week's vlog, will be reporting back to you on the results of that research. Also though, I'll be spending some time with this man, Joost Govertz. Joost is a hugely experienced broker and very successful both with motor yachts and probably even more so with sailing yachts. Who actually sold Child of Lear just a few days ago and he'll be continuing my education in the field of sailing yachts. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel, Click on the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any future notifications.